ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to World of Tanks. Because in today's episode I am going to talk about patch 9.14. I almost said 13, but I didn't. Uh, so in today's episode I'm pretty much going to tell you everything you need to know about uh, patch number 14. And if I'm not going to tell you everything important, uh, then I'm pretty sure you guys are going to correct me in the comment section down below, because you are so helpful in the comment section down below. And I love you for that. So, two main features. New physics, new sounds. And actually HD models as well, because uh, <coughs> MS1 HD model. Yeah, we needed that, but um, well, you're going to see every single new, pretty much every single new HD model soon. And at the end of the episode, I'm going to show you one gameplay where you're going to see pretty much every single new thing with patch number 14. You're going to see some ramming, you're going to hear all the new epic sounds, uh, echoes, and uh, you're going to hear ramming sound, you're going to see what ramming does, and, and bouncing sound, and so on. So pretty much every single new thing in one gameplay, so stay tuned for that. But now, let's talk about physics. From now on, we're going to be able to do stuff like this. The turret ring is damaged. We can barely turn it. And listen to this. New sounds when you repair your drags, which is awesome. Overall, that jump didn't go as planned. Or did it? <laughs> God damn, I love this server, because over here I can do stuff that I always dreamed about, but on a live server I'm not going to be able to do. Over here, nobody's going to blame you, or I simply do not understand. Hmm? Just test server things. We're dead for Everyone get out. Anyways, what they did, they introduced a new server model for vehicle movement, as well as for collision of vehicles with various surfaces, objects and other vehicles. Added new visual effects for vehicle movement and traverse, uh, skidding, sliding, so on. They implemented the mechanics for turning vehicles over, which is just mwah, perfect change for me especially. Why? More about that in a second. Uh, they added new types of maneuvers, as well as modifications to vehicle control and behavior. Uh, what uh, they mean, I believe, is that when you're going to press space, which is your handbrake, you can turn more quickly if you are moving forward and uh, are turning left or right at the same time. Uh, you can drift and so on. Uh, do some testing on your own. And uh, they rework the behavior of vehicles when ramming or colliding with other vehicles. I didn't see that huge change in ramming other vehicles, actually. I was trying to ram with my E50 M and I didn't see huge difference. Uh, maybe I just have to use light tank and ram another light tank, because usually when you do that, something funny happens. But what I meant when I said that the mechanics for turning vehicles over is something for me, perfect for me. It is actually perfect for RNG series, because I really cannot wait to see epic clips from you guys. Uh, epic rollover clips, uh, just jumps and I don't know what, epic ramps. You guys are epic, producing awesome and sick clips for our and Jesus series, so I thank you for that. Uh, now the question is, is this going to be realistic? Well guys, after all, it is just a game. It can't be 100% realistic, but in my opinion, it is more realistic than uh, uh, the mechanics that prevents tanks from rolling over. Because if you dive down the cliff, uh, you can roll over. Like, at the moment, what we have is a system that prevents tanks from rolling over. From now on, if tanks should roll lower, tank is going to roll lower. In my opinion, it is better chains. But it is just my humble opinion, guys. Keep that in mind. Let me know what you think about new physics. Now, the next big thing with patch 9.14 is a reworked sound system. I have to say, I love the sound of the guns. I really do. It is more realistic, in my opinion. Especially, I love the sound of the big boomsticks, like 183, E100 with 150mm boomstick, and uh, all those big guns. I love it. Actually, medium tank guns as well, like E50M and so on. So, all in all, I like the sound of guns. I like the sound of tracers when the bullet goes in area. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of bouncing critical hits. Uh, I like the sound of destruction. I like the sound of uh, reloading and uh, all that. Now, what I do not like, not one bit actually, is the sound of engine. And the sound of engines. Like, ELC sounds pretty much the same as 183 or E100. Like, where is the logic in that? So guys, developers, please take another look at the engine sound. Maybe it is just me, but 
I do not enjoy that, not one bit. But uh, there are actually more things that I do enjoy that I did not mention before. For example, like uh, the sound of the sixth pulp, which is from defibrillator or something like that, but uh, it gets the work done and um, I have to say I like it. Implemented the sound notifications about damage modules, like observation devices, turrets, fuel tanks, radios, MRX, uh, so on. As I mentioned before, they implemented the sound for basic consumables, first aid kits, repair kits and fire extinguishers. So, a lot of uh, small changes that are going to make game better, in my opinion. But guys, after all these changes I mentioned before, 24 vehicles got reworked to HE quality. 24 new HE models in the game. And finally, we have MS1 in HD quality. I was waiting for that moment and finally it is here. Finally I can enjoy my MS1 in HD quality. The mighty Soviet tier 1 light tank. Wow. I was afraid that my eyes do not see that day but I was able to do it. Fucking life goal, man. Fucking life goal. Okay, so 24 new vehicles. I'm able to show you 22 of them because 105 LEFH18B2 got removed from the stores. Uh, I believe this was that uh, French Supreme Artillery, if I remember correctly. And VK7201K is Glenvor Revor tank, so I'm not going to be able to show it to you either. But what I have over here is 22 new HD models. I think 22. I don't know, maybe something is missing, but let's go over them quickly. So, yeah, the mighty MS1, ah, oh. ah, oh, nice, finally, finally. A20, they are all fully upgraded, I hope. A20, was that A20 over here on the list? Let me see. Yeah, A20 was on the list. The only thing that I can see in HD over here are the tracks. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know, uh, I6, yeah, new model, new look, new turret, turret is actually, I think is going to be a little bit more bouncy now, especially from the side, yeah, so nice buff to I6, Panzerwaffen D25, <laughs> you're still ugly as f VK 3001H, yeah, German HD models, they look, they all look the same pretty much. But I love the steel effect. Yeah, sexy. Nash horn. Good gun. Good gun. Good good HD model. Nothing really special. E25. Ooh, the mighty E25 as well. I almost forgot, man. How did I do that? E25. One of the funniest tanks in the game, so I hope. I really do hope you have it. If you don't then you don't. Uh, GW Tiger P in HD. Really? This is HD? Oh, okay, let, let me see the notes. GW Tiger. Oh, this is GW Tiger. Oh, fuck. Now this, this thing is in HD model. Yeah, this thing is in HD model. Even better. World War II satellite view, so we have satellite pan over here. World War II satellite simulator at your service in HD model. D20. D20. Huh? Nothing special. G1 heavy tank. Oh yeah. Scratches, worn look. Shiny tracks, all that. Next HD model, we are going to have the 28 prototype. And uh, this is actually a pretty interesting HD model because you can see we do not have open turret anymore, and that's why we are going to receive improved ventilation class 3 as well. Because you know, when you have open turret, you are going to receive that bonus right away, like over here. Like no uh, uh, ventilation available, you can see, because it is open turret M44 in HD model. We needed it. This little bastard. I'm receiving so many RNG clips with this thing. So it is like tier 6 spurt. And uh, US tech tree. Moving on to the M5355. Nice OPHD model over here. As OPS Dankies. We all know that uh, this, this thing over here is one of the best 
artilleries in the game. Next up we have AMX 50 Fosh 155 tier 10 uh, French destroyer with a shark effect over here. How do you call that shark? I do not remember but this looks exactly like the shark head. I'm going to add one picture most likely. But uh, yeah, welcome to the glob. Welcome to the HD glob. Fosh 155. Uh, under UK Crusader. Small little tank in HD model AT15. Shiny tracks. All the rest of the things they look pretty. Hmm. I don't know. Meh. Meh. Maybe my settings. I think my settings are actually pretty good. Sexton one. Sexton's tank in the game. Sexton one. Sex not Sexton one. Bloody Sexton two. Where are you? Where are you, Sexton two? Oh, this one. Oh, this one over here. 300 gold I have spent for you. Quickly. You do not see me doing that at the moment, guys. You do not see me doing that. Nope. So, this one in HD model. So, yeah. Actually, pretty big difference, you can see. Uh, let me see. So, this is Sexton 2 in HD. Let's move back to Sexton 1. Yeah. <laughs> like moving back. 10 years and uh, in Japanese tree we received four new HD models low tier HD models so they all look the same pretty much uh, uh, like this guy actually has the best HD quality in my opinion you can see all the steel effects and shiny steel so yeah these are the HD models guys 22 if I can count and uh, they all look Pretty much the same, or what do you think? Anyways, guys, I believe this is it from me. This is it about patch number 14. Now you're going to enjoy the gameplay that I was talking about, where you're going to see and hear everything new. And uh, please let me know how did you enjoy today's episode. Uh, like, I wanted to do a little bit more entertaining patch notes episode. Maybe it worked out, maybe it didn't, I don't know. Next time I am going to try even harder. So yeah, thumbs up if you enjoyed, thumbs down if you didn't. You can uh, download as well if you didn't enjoy. So I know, take care guys and goodbye.